Hey Addy, it's Chelsea. So we're gonna go over some features on the inside for you. Since I can't do it with you in person, I wanted to make a video for you just so you can kind of get familiar with all the details and everything on the inside. So if we look to the left here, this is for your windows and everything. This is for your mirrors as well. So if you hit the left one, you can adjust your mirrors here. This is for the right. And then if you put it in the center, none of them will move. Some dash to here. This is the lighting on your dash. Now this is a downward ascent control. So if you're going downhill and you want assistance, you can push this guy. And this is your traction control. Turn that off. This is your signals, sorry, not your signals. This is your lighting here. So that's auto. That is just your running lights. And that's your high beams. That's off completely. So I recommend just keeping it on auto. On this right side is your wipers. So if we push down, it's just an intermission and you can control the speed. By pushing this down, you'll see it kind of slows down the speed and you can make it faster or slower. This one is just a standard low pace, and this is a higher pace, and then all the way up or off. And right here is all of your hands-free controls. If you want to talk, this is for your volume on like your music and everything. This is for your next songs, different modes, going from Bluetooth to AM to XM, um, picking up a call, and favorites as well. You can favorite some radio stations and press this guy here. And this is all of your cluster stuff here so if we push this guy you're going to see it adjust so I'm going to keep pressing it and it's going to keep adjusting for you and if we press the knob here to go up and down you can see the different displays push it again again more displays to look at driving and trip information you can always reset those And now if we hold this one and we hold the okay and we keep holding it, what's gonna pop up is all of your driver assistance. So that's one way to get into the, all the driving assistance for you if you wanna adjust anything. <clears throat> so this is your, your, um, your cruise control reaction. So how you can set cruise control and adaptive cruise. So this keeps you one car length, two or three behind somebody in front of you and now your car will keep you at that distance whether they slow down or speed up now this is a reaction timing if you want normal or fast so say someone slows down in front of you you want that to pick up normally or more of a quicker warning timing standard or late highly recommend standard warning volume you can keep it at a medium you can do high Driver attention warning, it's gonna tell you to take a break if you're kind of like weaving in and out or if it doesn't think you're paying attention. Forward safety, so if anybody stops ahead of you, <clears throat> excuse me, if anyone stops ahead of you or if they make a turn without signaling or anything, the car is gonna warn you that someone's stopping and then it's gonna stop for you as well. And again, you can make it warning or completely off. That's up to you. Lane safety, so that would be this guy right here that the car with two lanes in the middle that's your lane safety so that keeps you between the lines and you will feel the wheel move on you so if you don't like when the wheel moves you can make it a warning only or off completely and then this one that one keeps you um, set in your lane keeps you centered so you don't bounce from line to line and then your blind spots on your mirrors so again you can be active warning only so active actually pushes you back over if you try to merge over and somebody's there. Warning only or off as well. Parking safety, the rear cross traffic. So when you are in, let's put it in reverse. So when you're in reverse here and say someone's coming from this direction, you're going to have an arrow that's pointing saying someone's coming. If you don't stop in time, the car is going to stop for you. So that's all of your driver assistance stuff here. <clears throat> you do have a map as well. So you have navigation that's directly in the car. You can push this off, push it over, get a full map. You can bring it back and have different things on this screen as well. And then we can go back to home. 
And this is just your regular stuff here, like your phone, media, um, blue link that I will have set up for you already. So you can do personalized stuff in here for you already too. And then setup, notifications, manual. Your manual will be in the glove box for you as well. And if you go to setup, this is where we connect your phone. So device connections, and then device connections, and then you're gonna hit add new, add your phone. Make sure you hit yes to everything to set up. <clears throat> so you have your Apple CarPlay and everything, which is hooked up by a USB because there's already navigation in here. We'll go back here. And then you can get to those by go clicking these guys as well, like map, navigation, so points of interest, search, save places. You can save home, save work, um, radio. You can click this guy. And again, station list, FM, AM, and then set up if you want to go this way, change your sound, so you can change like the tone and everything, if you want bass set up and all of that too. And then same with the maps too, if you go into sound and you go into guidance, this is where like if you have your navigation on, it tells you when to turn or where not to turn. So guidance volume, so you can change all that stuff too, you can have it lower, you can have it higher, off completely completely up to you and your preference <clears throat> down here we have your settings for your climate controls you have your different drive mode button here this little guy here so if you turn this knob you're gonna see it just so sport mode smart mode normal so normal is regular driving sport mode a little more get up and go and smart mode so what this is is a better fuel economy so I highly, highly recommend this one just to get better fuel economy um, and adjust to your own driving habits. So whether you're harder on the accelerator or you're not, you're going to get the best out of the gas mileage. You have your heated seats, heated steering wheel. This is your automatic stop start. So if you want to turn that off, you definitely can. If you don't mind it shutting off at a red light when you're just sitting, completely up to you. Um, all wheel drive lock parking brake is here as well you just pull up for your parking brake and then you push down to um, undo it this is an auto hold so say you are at a train st uh, like stop for a train you don't want to put it in park all you do is put your foot on the brake push this guy and you can take your foot off the brake without putting it in park and your car won't go anywhere and then once you get it off put your foot on the brake press this guy and you'll be able to drive again And then we have your roadside assistance. This is just your maps here. SOS if you have any emergencies. And then we have sunglass holder here. Your lighting is here for you as well. And this is your sunroof. A little bit of a rainy day, but you would just push this guy up, like push it up and then it will open up for you. Do that. And you have your center console here. And a quick reminder for your gas, make sure you push this guy. So it's right by your foot. So this is my foot here. And then you just pull this guy. That way the gas is open for you for when you get out because you can't push it from the outside, okay? So that's everything on the inside. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ever give me a text or call or email. I'd be happy to go over anything with you again, okay? Hope you love it.